Hello dear learners today we are going to discuss the MCQs from social pharmacy which was earlier known as health education and community pharmacy from that we are going to talk about the chapter epidemiology and part 1 we are going to see uh, which includes few of the MCQs from the chapter epidemiology so to start with the first question the question is epidemiology describes whether epidemiology describes a disease pattern in the community whether it describes the health pattern in the community whether it is both of them or none of them so the correct answer if you will see it is first that is disease pattern in the community that means as you all know from the definition of epidemiology epidemiology logy is to study and epidemiology earlier it was known means epidemiology if the definition you will see the definition says it is the study of distribution and determinants means how the disease is distributed where uh, mean, means it is occurring at uh, occurring to whom and at what time it is occurring in which area it is occurring it talks about the distribution and determinants of disease like uh, factors which are affecting the diseases so it studies about all these things in a particular population and also applies this knowledge to control the health problems so epidemiology is nothing but it's a study about the disease pattern in particular population like community so epidemiology describes the disease pattern in the community now coming towards the second question community may be a dash community can be a village can be a country can be a city or all of them so community if you will see it is nothing but a group of people like uh, in particular uh, population so it is village country city all of them so the correct answer is community can be a village uh, population a country population or a city population so the correct answer is it is all of them the professional involved in epidemiological study is an dash the next question says who is the person who is involved in the epidemiological studies the person is called as epidemiologist the person whether it is known as epidemi epidemi or diseaseologist whether it is epidemic or none of these the correct answer is it is epidemiologist the professional which is involved in the epidemiological study the person who is responsible for carrying out the epidemiological studies is nothing but an epidemiologist means the person to study about the epidemiological uh, factors like epidemiology study next question is epidemiology is about study of distribution and determinants of health related event disease pattern in the community applying the knowledge of disease pattern to control it or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them as we have talked about the definition of epidemiology which is nothing but the study of distribution and determinants of disease as well as health related events and also at the same time applying the knowledge of these disease patterns to control over the diseases so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is along with the primary things epidemiology also includes whether it includes health services and utilization by the people of the health services then impact of health services on people's attitude like uh, the health primary health care centers and all medical facilities so whether it is uh, utilization by the people and availability or whether it is the impact of their service which they are providing on the people's attitude or whether it is both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is both of them 
that means along with the study of distribution determinants of health related events and disease and also the application of the knowledge it also includes epidemiology also includes the main parameter uh, that is health services means how health services are, uh, are available how they are utilized by the people is there availability and non availability and provide provision of the facility like whatever the services they are providing the impact of that services provided what is the effect on the people's attitude so all these things are also taken into consideration when the concerned person is involved in the epidemiological studies next question is epidemiology includes dash diseases whether it is epidemics whether it is non infectious diseases whether it is deficiency and unknown etiology diseases or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them epidemiology uh, when uh, the word epidemiology was earlier referred only to the cases epidemics uh, diseases like uh, diseases such as cholera plague influenza and all but presently it also includes all the infectious diseases non infectious diseases deficiency diseases as well as the diseases which are of unknown etiology so the correct answer is it is all of them it includes epidemics like cholera influenza etc uh, non infectious diseases then uh, deficiency and unknown etiological diseases so the correct answer is all of them next question is components of disease included in the epidemiological studies are what all parameters are included in the epidemiological studies when it is concerned with the disease pattern so the options are disease frequency disease distribution disease determinants or all of them the correct answer is again it is all of them because in epidemiological studies when one is uh, concerned about the disease pattern it also studies the disease frequency frequency in a simple term you can uh, name it like counting the numbers but when it is uh, concerned with the epidemiological term it refers to actual calculation of the ratios and rates which are helpful in the assessment of health and disease rate that means these rates will access the different areas and they can be compared so they are involved in calculation of ratios and all then disease distribution distribution is nothing but uh, like where it is distributed to whom it is occurring uh, how more frequently it is occurring at which at which place at which time it is occurring so all these uh, parameters include are included in the distribution and when it comes to determinants determinants is nothing but simply a study of factors which are affecting the disease frequency and distribution so when the determinants are concerned uh, where the determinants are concerned like uh, it is about the factors of the diseases the correct so the correct answer is it is all of them next question is epidemiology epidemiology can be a dash tool whether it is only a qualitative tool whether it is it's a quantitative tool whether it's both of them or none of them the correct answer is it is both of them along with the quality it quantifies also through the various rates and ratios when it comes to frequency and determinants is nothing but a uh, study of the factors Uh, so it includes both the studies qualitative as well as quantitative then epidemiological methods are like if you will see uh, there are different methods of epidemiology so which of these is uh, these are the methods of epidemiology so the methods are uh, first option is whether it is descriptive epidemiology whether it is analytical epidemiology whether it is experimental epidemiology or all of them the correct answer again it is all of them epidemiological methods are descriptive also that means they study about the detailed description of the disease they make the observations 
and they study the trend of disease distribution from the parameters like uh, where it is distributed then uh, where the disease means the place then the time of disease when it is occurring so it is time distribution and to whom it is affecting so it is person distribution so three distributions like time place and person distribution uh, is involved in descriptive studies then when it comes to the analytical studies analytical studies uh, includes various type of advanced studies like which deals with the factors of the disease determinants of the disease then experimental studies includes actual experiment as the word suggests experimental the experimental studies in laboratories by using different animals like rats mice etc to study the drug actions and also human trials are also being conducted so these all three methods descriptive analytical experimental are the methods of epidemiology then next question is time place and person distribution studies are now just now we discussed time place person distribution these studies are whether they are descriptive studies analytical studies experimental studies or all of them the correct answer is it is descriptive which involves time distribution place distribution as well as person distribution next question is which of the given is not a mortality rate now mortality rate if you will see there are different mortality rates such as uh, crude death rate is there specific death rate is there case fatality ratio is there proportional mortality ratio is there then the survival rate is there uh, so uh, different mortality rates are also there and the different morbidity measurements are also being done so when it is concerned only with the mortality all these things like crude death rate specific death rate survival rate crude death rate is nothing but it is uh, about affecting by the age and the sex composition of the population like uh, they have one formula Uh, the crude death rate is nothing but it is the total number of deaths because of all the causes any cause can be included and total deaths which are occurring on every 1000 estimated mid year population in one year in defined geographical area that means there is one formula in the uh, numerator there is number of deaths during the year denominator there is a mid year population and multiplied by thousand so this is crude death rate then specific death rate is calculated for as the word such as specific it is for specific group then both the sexes different causes causes are also different whereas in crude death rate causes all causes were included uh, and it also includes different socio economic groups and so on so these are specific to one particular thing and it is also calculated at different times then survival rate when it comes to survival rate it is total number of cases alive after 5 years of occurrence of disease and which is divided by total number of cases diagnosed and treated multiplied by 100 so it is a percentage survivor after the treatment of a particular case of a disease that means survival since the word is survival it indicates the uh, sur survival rate that means after the treatment how many patients are alive after the diagnosis and treatment and experimental rate so which of these is not a mortality rate so from these description you might have understood that experimental rate is not a mortality rate then specific death rate is specified for now just now we discussed about the specific death rate it is for different age groups different socio economic groups different causes or all of them the correct answer is it is all of them specific death rate is specified for different age groups different socio economic groups different causes etc then next question is rates used to study morbidity of a community are now here it is morbidity earlier it was mortality so uh, there are various rates which are used 
for morbidity measurements and they study about the morbidity of a community that means uh, morbidity data is uh, taken into consideration which indicates the disease situation and as well as it is also easy to uh, calculate uh, morbidity rates also compared to the mortality rate so there are two rates like incidence rate and prevalence rate incidence rate uh, incidence rate is nothing but occurrence of new cases of a disease in particular area per 1000 population and prevalence rate is nothing but occurrence of all the cases new old both the cases in a particular geographical area per 1000 population so incidence is about the new and prevalence is about all new as well as existing cases so rates used to study morbidity are both incidence rate as well as prevalence rate the correct answer is it is both of them next question is now as we discussed about what is incidence rate and prevalence rate the occurrence of new cases of a disease in a particular geographical area is whether it is incidence rate prevalence rate survival rate or all of them the correct answer is it is incident rate incidence is talking about the new cases next question is occurrence of all new as well as old cases in a particular geographical area is whether it is incidence rate prevalence rate survival rate or all of them the correct answer is it is prevalence rate because prevalence rate as we discussed just now it talks about the new as well as existing cases of a disease also with this we finish with epidemiology mcqs part 1 thank you and stay tuned for our next parts on epidemiology and there are many more mcqs from the same uh, subject thank you